hi guys and welcome to access tutorial uh, you see this tutorial is all about prompting the user to save changes made in access well first of all I'm going to convert it to a form so let's go to create I'm going to select wizard right there and the form that's the only form I have in there anyway I'll select all of the data I'll click on next and I'll just select colorize that's fine and uh, okay I'll leave the name as calculated fields I'll click on finish and that's my form right there okay I'm now going to right click on this form and just go to design view drag this down a little bit and uh, let's select the the form there that's the form select the form we now want to go straight into the event make sure your event is selected if you have to enhance any other thing all of the data are here okay so in the event I'm just gonna select this three dot here on the click there now I will select code builder click on OK right so what I want to now do is you see up here that is the object area I am going to select drop it down and select form okay in the procedural area which is right here I'm going to drop that down and select before update okay so let's look for before update, which is right here there we go that is the inventor intent to use click on that and as you can see it said private sub form before update cancel as integer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare the following variable let's say dim dim means declare I will call that save data as VB message box there now I'm going to come down here and I will then say save data itself grab save data dump, dump it right here save data equals message box and I will then enter a message that will be displayed so I'll just let's say click yes to save yes to save or no to discard let me say discard data okay so that would be my first argument so put a comma in there this next argument I'm going to call that VB information VB info okay let's put a plus sign then let's say VB yes or no right that is my third argument the fourth argument is going to be let's just call that save message or we can just call it prompt message or save okay save message is fine there we go close that now let's use an if statement if save data equals VB no then what I want the system to do is I'm gonna say use this do command do command dot run run command AC command undo. I need the one that will say AC command undo. There we go. So that will undo it if you dare click on no. In that case, I'm just going to now use this cancel variable up here that is in there. Okay, inside the parentheses, I'm going to say that very cancel will take in the following argument so and if there that's all okay take a good look at the lines of codes from here down here so i'm going to save that let's go into our form now so right click on the form 
view the form that is the form right there because supposing I want to enter new information or I want to improve on this information there I can just come right here and uh, let's say I change the 298 to whatever there so I now want to go to the next record you see the system automatically prompt you click yes to save or no to discard if I say no it returns back to what it was if I dare say yes let's say we enter that ID number and we just say yes for that go to the next record yes I want to save that there we go that is it it's saved okay let's go back to that very record click on that there and let's assume we enter new data in there that's my record product name we can just call that rice beans or rice and beans whatever and the cost of that let's enter whatever in there there and we want about two of those and the total okay the total for that automatically that we enter that's the total now if I dare click on next record I'm prompted to save it so I'm gonna to have to save that yes save okay and automatically the system is asking you if you want to enter any other data but we can also go straight to the previous data there we go okay and that's how you create your own um, device that will actually prompt you to save before going to the next record one other thing you can do is as you can see this form is not that clear you can right click and go to design view and just select it all now come straight to the properties in here and let's go into where we have font size just increase the font size to something readable I'm gonna make that about 16 and let's come right here where the color back uh, font color is I'm gonna make the font color black so that you guys can see it properly and up here you can repeat the same thing for that font color just make that a bit readable as well there run your program again right click select the form view there we go so with that guys I'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial I suppose you enjoy it and thanks for watching bye for now so before I go I'm gonna show you guys the lines of code again let's come in here select the form and click on event there those are the lines of code again so have a nice one and bye for now.